For four years, 1847 Rogers Brothers have been building toward the day when American dollars would begin to flow again. Each year, the company has spent larger sums on advertising and sales promotion, on tools, plant equipment, appropriations far beyond what conditions seemed to warrant. This was part of a far-sighted plan. So the first stirrings of America's slumbering giant of purchasing power found 1847 Rogers Brothers ahead of the field with a backlog of established goodwill and public demand. Oldest and most successful creator of finest quality silver plate, 1847 Rogers Brothers was founded by the original Rogers Brothers, whose high standard of workmanship has been maintained throughout the years. With this background, 1847 Rogers Brothers was equipped to do a job and do it well when the new prosperity began. Nearly 100 years of quality workmanship by master craftsmen was a guarantee from the past to assure the future. And now the moment was here. This was the time to bring out a new pattern. Not just another pattern, but something that would measure up to the bigness of the opportunity at hand. We want a pattern that's absolutely unique. Something with the appearance and also the weight and that hand-wrought feeling of the finest sterling silver design. That's going to be a tough job. Well, I know it is, but we're going to be hard to please. Frankly, I don't know how you'll do it, but that's what we want. A new idea in silver plate or a new opportunity in selling. The same brilliant artists who designed the overwhelmingly successful first love and adoration patterns went to work on a job that was to last for months. Design after design was discarded. No one but an artist would reject the work that was thrown out. Only after 18 months was the final design completed. Then a model was hand-chased in silver and approved by the executives of the company. Here was the pattern they had been waiting for. Here was a brand new idea in silver plate. But how was the consumer going to like it? Trained research workers were detailed to interview women in every part of the country to get their reaction to the new pattern. The response was unanimous and overwhelming. Working girls, debutantes, housewives... Women the country over agreed. 1847 Rogers Brothers had a sensational winner. But now came the problems of production. And they were many. Because the new pattern called for so many firsts in silver plate. When we tackled the job of putting the new design into production, we found out we were up against problems we'd never run into before. This pattern called for new tools and manufacturing operations that had never been used in silver plate. For instance, the new openwork hollow handle knives, the two raised ornamentations on the handles of all the pieces. It meant new dies and tools, of course, but more important, it meant new manufacturing methods. So we set about creating them. The first was a rolling machine which molds two high ridges on the handles. When the design is embossed on these two ridges, it's higher and fuller than ever before. This process is a first in silver plate. Then we had to create new dies to get open work in every piece of the pattern. And this meant even in hollow handle knives. It was the first time that anyone had ever made an open work knife in silver plate. It's such a difficult process that has only been done twice in expensive sterling patterns. We had to make outline dies to preserve the clean-cut contour and delicate silhouette of our new pattern. Here was another process that had never been used before, except in making sterling flatware. We wanted perfect balance, so we put additional weight in the handles. That gives the pieces a well-proportioned quality feel. On top of all this, we styled the serving and fancy pieces with beautiful fluting and new shapes, even though that makes them a lot more expensive to make and to finish. By the time we were ready to go into production, we had invested many, many thousands of dollars in new equipment 
and had added several new processes in the manufacture of silver plate. All these hand-wrought characteristics, in addition to the heavy overall plating we've always used, made this the most expensive pattern we have ever produced. But you'll be glad to know that despite this, there's no additional cost to you or your customers. We had to use all of our 94 years' experience in the manufacture of silver plate to meet these problems. But finally, we licked them and began to pour the metal for the first of the new pattern. Yes, experience and fine craftsmanship counted. And at last, 1847 Rogers Brothers had a silver plate pattern which they knew would exceed the enormous success of such great patterns as first love and adoration. Into the production of this new silver plate went all of the care that goes into the most expensive and most exquisite sterling silver. Everyone in the entire 1847 Rogers Brothers organization was determined to make this the most outstanding achievement in their distinguished history. Eternally yours. That was the name chosen for the new pattern from hundreds which were suggested. Eternally yours. When a woman reads that name on her silverware, it will bring back all the thrill, all the pride of possession that was hers when she received her set. Every piece is stamped eternally yours so that the owner will never forget the name of the pattern she owns. Up to now, you could find this feature only in sterling silver. The finished piece reflects the care and craftsmanship that have gone into its production. The sculptured design and jewel-like openwork make the silver sparkle like diamonds. Rare and exclusive sterling patterns, the pierced hollow handle knife is unique in the silver plate field. The knife blade is new in shape and gracefully tapered. Wider at the top for the finger to rest on the back. Every feature of this new knife points up the care and expense that have gone into the creation of the whole set. Silverware of such beauty demanded a setting which would be as distinctive as the pattern itself. A top-ranked designer was commissioned to create a beautiful all-plastic case, especially for eternally yours. It fits the buffet drawer. The pieces slip in easily, and the knives lift out without bother. On display, its heavy transparent top keeps the silver in full view, and yet it's away from dust and tarnish. After the first set of Eternally Yours was completed, Conrad Nagel, famous motion picture star and director of 1847 Rogers Brothers Silver Theater, flew east to see it. Gentlemen, this is really beautiful. I think you're all to be congratulated. Well, Conrad, how do you think it'll go in Hollywood? If I know anything about movie stars, and I've lived out there in Hollywood a good many years, they're really going to go for this. I'd like to take a set of it back with me on the plane tonight. I want to show it to them right away. That's a splendid idea. Nobody today can fully estimate the tremendous influence motion picture stars exert on the buying habits of America. American women look to the stars for the latest in hairstyles, clothes, furniture, yes, and silverware. Did you like the pictures? Well, I like anything with Rosalind Russell, though. You know, honey, I saw a silver ad with her picture in it today. When we get our silver, I'd like to get the same pattern she had in the ad. All right with me. Now, since I've been back in Hollywood, I've shown eternally yours to several of the Hollywood stars who've been over at my house for dinner, and they've all agreed that it's the most beautiful silver plate they've ever seen. Now, since the stars are so enthusiastic, I'd like to tell you just how they're going to fit into our advertising campaign for eternally yours. First, several of them are going to personally endorse the new pattern in a series of full-color ads in Life magazine. Well, anyone can see the dynamite in that combination. America's most brilliant and beautiful stars in America's most spectacular magazine, Life. And by the way, circulation of Life magazine has increased by leaps and bounds. In no other country in the world are people as eager for news as they are in America today. These tense and thrilling times, they want the latest news, and they want pictures of the latest news. Well, they find them in Life magazine, creator of a completely new kind of journalism. With its record for brilliant reporting and spectacular pictures, Life magazine has become a necessity to every well-read American. Research shows, and I think this is very interesting, 
Research shows that an average of seven and a half people read every copy of Life magazine printed. That means a total of over 20 million readers. Think of it. And all kinds of people read Life, from the housewife to the stenographer to the college girl. Here is the latest, greatest medium for a sales message, the picture magazine. And this is the high-powered medium which will be used by 1847 Rogers Brothers to introduce Eternally Yours in a series of full-color ads. The first ad will be a double-page spread more compelling than any 1847 has ever produced. Three lovely Hollywood stars, Rosalind Russell, and Alan Drew, and Betty Field, are giving Eternally Yours a great send-off. They're glamorous pictures taken in full, glorious color by ace photographer Paul Hesse will fill one whole page of life. And the ad quotes what they have to say about Eternally Yours. I've talked to all three, and they're amazed at the beauty of this new open work pattern. In other ads, we'll feature such stars as Myrna Loy and Lorraine Day. And besides, there'll be a big special Christmas ad. And incidentally, all these ads stress one point. See your dealer tomorrow. And that's a point we always stress on Silver Theater. Silver Theater is 1847 Rogers Brothers' most powerful advertising weapon. Now about to begin its fifth big year. From the heart of Hollywood, 1847 Rogers Brothers' Silver Theater will bring the same stars who appeared in Life magazine and many more to the vast Sunday radio audience. The smart comedies, tender love stories, timely human dramas all written especially for Silver Theater stars by the finest writers in radio, and aimed at an audience most likely to buy fine silver plates such as Eternally Yours. And punching home the selling messages of the new pattern will be Henry Charles, one of the great selling voices of radio. Plan at once to set your own table with this newest and most thrilling 1847 Rogers Brothers design. The pattern, Eternally Yours. Visit your dealer tomorrow, Monday. How many people listen to Silver Theater? The Crosley survey gives us the answer. In more than 30 cities, Crosley makes a constant telephone check on the number of people listening to the radio. They ask these questions. What program, please? Silver Theater? Thank you. 1847 Rogers Brothers? Thank you. 1847 Rogers Brothers Silver Theater? Thank you. So the Crosley survey shows that a peak audience of 10 million people listen to 1847 Rogers Brothers Silver Theater. When you add these listeners to the number of people who'll see the advertisements in Life magazine, you have a grand total of 142 million selling messages to introduce eternally yours to the American public. This is your chance of a lifetime. Here are millions of people with new money to spend. Here is a market not only for this year, but for years to come. This is your chance of a lifetime. If your business is good now, here's a chance to make it even better. By tying in with 1847 Rogers Brothers' great advertising campaign for eternally yours. How can you tie in? Well, 1847 Rogers Brothers makes it easy for you. All you have to do is remember these four red-letter days. September 12th, October 10th, November 14th, December 12th. These four red-letter days mark the peak periods in your campaign for Eternally Yours, when the stunning ads you've just seen will appear in Life magazine, where over 20 million people will see them, when the Silver Theater will be telling the story of Eternally Yours to many more millions. And here's why tying in is so easy. Before each of these red-letter days arrives, you'll receive from 1847 Rogers Brothers, absolutely free, handsome window displays and newspaper mats. So remember these dates. Then you'll know just when to use your beautiful displays, just when to run ads in your local papers. And you're bound to cash in. You can't miss a great business opportunity. A great pattern eternally yours. A great advertising campaign. Dealers, it's your chance of a lifetime. <laughs> 